All right, people. Welcome to Pozi Ho Tea House. This is live streaming in Menghai, Yunnan, China. Sunday morning. This is the testing purpose、uh, live streaming, and I would like to share with you、uh, my tea time with you guys. So today I'm going to make a tea with this pot here. Pot with great pattern. I love the pattern, so exquisite. Here's so I'm gonna brew some Chinese tea with this this thing, and I have some rye pour here. Okay. Oh, where's the camera? <laughs> here. All right. Now let's do this.、Uh, I want guys to see more properly, right? Is it more clear this way? Great. So、uh, normally we use a guy one to steep the tea, but today I would like to use the pot here. The first steep is actually the rinse. Of the tea to get rid, get rid of the dirt. Okay, just rinse a little bit. All right, now.、Hmm. You can actually smell. The aroma coming out of the pot.、Hmm. And the aromatic scent would be、uh, more and more attractive with the steeping goes on. Okay, so it's full now, and we can serve right away because the the first steep no need to be taking too long. Or it be too thick for the first dip, so you may、uh, want to empty the pot right away. Okay. So as you can see, the tea here. It's so. Beautiful, isn't it? And also, before you drink it, make sure you smell the scent. Hmm. Such pleasant and pleasing smell. A good cup of tea not only tastes good, but the aroma also is appealing. So let's have a drink. Mm, it's too hot by now. This is the cup of the blend Pozi Ho, our blend, our family's blend. Alright, let's look at the tea. You may see it. Ah,、uh, it is more loosened now than it, it was before the steeping. The tea leaf would be more loosened as the hot water, as it was bathed in hot water. Okay. Hmm. Taste is good. The texture is smooth, and the taste it, it has this taste like. Um, jujube, the red jujube taste. Hmm, nice cup of tea.
the first step is actually um, would be rather light than the other step because the first two of three steps are only the uh, awakening. This is what we call Xing Cha, awakening of tea. <clears throat> so we will expect uh, the first few steps to be rather light. But it doesn't mean it's not good or it doesn't taste good. It also tastes uh, decent enough to uh, taste the goodness of the tea. But those who usually drink tea would know that um, the few after a few steeps, the four to six steeps would release the potential of the tea the most. That means the four to six steep is the peak of the taste of the tea. Because the uh, intrinsic substance are released the most by the four to six steps, and now it's only the uh, the first step, which is the awakening stage. The tea leaves is not fully awakened, so there are more potentials yet to be released. Now I am having a second cup. The first steep. Okay, this pot, the volume of this pot is rather big enough. So even the first steep, I would drink for a couple of cups. There's more cups here. Five, three to five cups, maybe. It has this oily like texture that makes you um, not only drinking a cup of tea but also the juju juice. It was like there's a layer of oil as if there's a layer of oil, not actually oil uh, on the surface of the tea. So it smoothened your lips and your mouth. And actually, in fact, is that um, rye pura contains more oil uh, in the tea leaves than the raw pura. So this one is raw pura in the gai one. Here, you see the difference? Tea leaves the rye pura and raw pura. The raw pura is more green than the rye pura, while the rye pura is dark. Dark character. It is because after the fermentation, the rye pour contains more substances and more mineral than the rye pour, than the raw pour. And also, the oily texture I just talked about is also due to the fermentation process. Comparing the rye pua and war pua that in terms of texture, the rye pua would have a more uh, smooth and more in thickness. Yes, the thickness. You may expect to be uh, more thick for the raw pua, for the rye pua tea, while the raw pua tea is more watery and more clean than the ripe one. It is not saying which one is better or which one is not so good. No, uh, it depends on your own uh, flavor. If you are more into a oily texture or thickness, you might be more into uh, ripe one. 
and Robra. Robra tea, it is clean and watery, and it has more of the flowery uh, fragrance in the Robra than the Ripra. The fermentation gives the Ripra the texture and taste of earth, earthly taste as well as the jujube taste. Like this one, it has a thick jujube taste, which is good. Hmm. Almost finished the first steep. Okay, the last cup of the first steep. So even the first steep, one steep, I could drink up to uh, is it five five cups? I don't remember. Maybe five cups. So it's good for uh, not only self drinking but also inviting a couple of friends here, so you can talk, uh, laugh, having fun all day and drinking tea. One steep would serve up to four or five cups. So which is um, good for friends gathering, partying. Mm. So you can see the substances here. This is the uh, tea leaves. This more organism, the uh, microorganism of the tea leaves here. The, dark things at the bottom of the cup you can see it this is while the process the tea leaves or you know the texture no the the body of the tea leaves were destroyed and they were crushed into uh, these small microorganisms uh, while in the process of stir frying cao cha the cao cha process. The fresh tea leaves are to be uh, stir fried before becoming the final product. So it was in this product that they were drought. And small pieces of tea leaves uh, were produced in this process. And this is also why the texture and taste uh, was this way. Okay, so this is today's texting live streaming. And uh, if you want the, if you want to get this teaware or uh, the tea products, you may contact me via the uh, the number I left in the the comment section. This is my WeChat number and also the Telegram. So our family was doing tea business for over two decades. So we have a lot of great products, authentic local Yunnan Wenghai teas, raw pura and white pura and also white tea, black tea, um, citrus pura tea. If you're interested in any kind of good, authentic, uh, real Chinese tea products, Please contact me to this number here. So this is today's live streaming. Uh, as I said, it is only a testing live streaming, which is not uh, long. So um, if you're seeing this video, thank you guys. Thank you for uh, watching. And you may expect me to uh, share, sharing more tea products of our family in future days. And until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.